Hey guys, welcome back. It's Grim Reaper for another video for a Shadow today. Today we're going to go over Sand Devil 15, the Acropolis, whatever his name is. Uh, we're going to do a solo video today. I thought we would start looking at 15 just in general. We made a couple of videos on 14, 24, and 25. So um, I know a lot of people can't get there. So I'm going to look at a few champions that can solo. Maybe we'll build a couple of teams for uh, 14 so today we're going to start with the obvious choice a really old fusion a lot of people have him a lot of people don't uh, unfortunately he is a legendary um, as you can see it's going to be Rodus so this is like the lazy build we've done for Rodus um, I'm going to show you a, a faster way of farming uh, Rodus uh, with Rodus uh, shortly so obviously uh, we have this is the Rodus at the moment so HP banner critical damage HP with attack of stats uh, speed HP critical damage uh, and then critical rate and critical rate so obviously he's only at 98 critical rate but at 200 speed uh, 50,000 HP which is needed for you do need high HP and uh, no accuracy so with a lazy build I try and make it lazy as possible uh, we've got high critical rate which is important high defense good speed and then the, the, the critical damage and the damage after that is important obviously the speeds are up masteries again these are not the right masteries uh, obviously we do not want more master so we have got house smash down here these are just normal arena masteries uh, I wanted to use these masteries first just in case you have one Rodus and you just want to swap the gear between your nuke and Rodus and a Rodus that you can use in uh, Sun Devil as well where you can just swap the gear over and not have to change the masteries obviously the obvious blessing for arena for uh, Rodus is uh, Wrath of the Falling because it gives you more HP, critical damage. But for this, you would be Brimstone. But bear in mind, you need accuracy now with Brimstone, uh, and that's where we're going to do the optimizing build later on uh, in this video. So for now, I'm going to let this run. It's about five minutes, uh, so I'm going to do it on two times speed uh, just to make this video a bit quicker and like that. So um, yeah, and then we'll build out another Rodus and we'll come back to that.
So now we're going to do build number two. So build number two is, it, it doesn't work on 15, but it, it's not basically regen. Um, it's basically for number 11. So number 11 gives you the same spirit parts. Rodus won't work after number 15. He won't work on 16. So Rodus will solo here for about six minutes in regen. Now we have him in lifestyle build. It does farm 11. It's a little bit more efficient. Uh, you still get the both set, sets of pots, which would be nice as well. Um, so that's something to take into consideration. I would farm 11 over 15 just because the runs are twice as fast and uh, just twice as fast really and it's less energy as well. So I would farm 11. Life still or the regen work build will work both in all, all of them. So I'm going to show you a run in a second. We decided to, for this bit to go with a plus one runners. But the plus one was mainly because it had brimstone on it. Uh, I wanted to test out the brimstone and as you can see, as you'll see in the video, brimstone didn't really do much at all. So um, brimstone really not needed. It doesn't do enough at level one, I feel. I think if you got a level six brimstone or level five where it's guaranteed, that'd be much better. Or even level four when you get 50 accuracy and the HP with the builds. So um, I am going to rebuild this Rodus after I've done here for Arena. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to change it for this anyway. Um, and this doesn't really do anything until it gets to level two. So level two would give him more HP anyway, which would be great. Um, so that's something to kind of look out for. So here are the stats. We've got 4,000 attack. Uh, 41,000 HP, 222 speed, so a little bit higher, uh, 220 critical damage as well. And the masteries are much better, so I do recommend these masteries for both builds. Um, so uh, the masteries we've got here, so again, we've got Hammer Smash at the top. You could go with Eagle Eye if you wanted to, to try and land the Hammer uh, Brimstone or the uh, defense down in E1 just wasn't consistent enough. Cycle of Violence and Life Drinker are pretty important. And the main one, Spirit Haze. So you could drop your speed to about 200. And uh, if you're doing 11, I think you could probably go down to like 180 speed. Um, and then use Spirit Haze or Speed Lead as well if needed to. So Rose can definitely solo pretty well for 11 so it's definitely something you want to look into um so there you are we're going to do a run now and yeah i hopefully you guys like this hopefully this helps you please remember to like comment and subscribe to the video it just really help support the channel and don't worry if you don't have rose i have quite a few videos now on sand devil so i will ping the playlist at the at the end and also i'll be pinging them up at the top in the corner this side this, this side up here somewhere are we posting them so throughout the video so there you are hopefully you like it till then peace